Hey everybody, Texas Dan and coming to you from Monday, the 15th of May, 2023, here in the evening uh, uh, from the uh, pizza parlor in North Texas. Uh, taking a look at the top of the world, the island at the top of the world, Greenland. Uh, as I look and I observe Greenland, uh, it's sometimes hard because I just stare into the white digital imprint on the screen and there's fluctuations constantly. Uh, it's like it disappears, appears, uh, shifts. Uh, it, it's always in a fluctuation. I can't look at it too much. I can kind of glance at it and uh, take a look around the rim uh, and that kind of thing like that. And we do have quite a bit of changes around there. We also changes going over to uh, Iceland uh, uh, and uh, the Nordics, um, the Baltic, uh, and over to uh, uh, Hudson Bay in Canada. The top of the world is active, of course. It's changing. It's uh, being drawn in, uh, closing up. Uh, the ice, of course, is coming off tremendously fast off of Greenland. Uh, and these fluctuations that we're seeing in there uh uh, are, are, are pretty uh, significant. Um, we have political changes on, on the quantum level to the Norwegian and the Swedish borders, okay? Uh, they're slight, but they keep adjusting. Um, I would like, I haven't seen any uh, hard uh, paper uh, maps of Europe, so I want to kind of get a hold of those and have a look at that uh, as to how they're changing. Uh, but we're showing a lot of changes all the way around Europe right now, uh, from Spain, uh, which is going east. Uh, everything's going kind of easterly right now, more or less, with a, a lot of uh, uh, differences in the directions of travel, because we're also going down, okay? So the, the terrain is always at a constant change, always. Um, and there's... Uh, changes to designations of state parks and, and that kind of thing all the time. Uh, so much so that I can't possibly keep up with it. Um, for uh, to give an example, I'm going to uh, use the name of a late actor who's uh, and uh, there was never um, any kind of uh, designation for uh, this actor. Uh, Lee J. Cobb, right? Uh, for, let's say call it the Lee J. Cobb State Park, okay? Uh, never, no such thing exa uh, existed, but I'm just giving an example. That could come into being, be for a while, and disappear. Matter of fact, back in 2016, uh, shortly after I quantum jumped, and, and I looked at New York, not far from the location of where Buffalo was, was uh, an unnaturally large city that started with an S. Uh, to my shame, I cannot remember what the name of that uh, city is, right? Uh, what I was struck by is I said, hey, that's Buffalo. Buffalo's in there. What is this place with an S doing in there, right? So that's a little bit of a memory issue. Of course, we do not remember all the changes. It's impossible. Um, there was an issue that I made with uh, the size of cities in relation to the size of the state. Well, I had somebody make a comment said, I... Uh, I, I need to tell you this. I worked those things, and uh, we enlarged the, uh, enlarge them to demonstrate them better. Uh, okay, to that guy, I don't dispute anything that he uh, says whatsoever. We let that stand. But I'm also saying that, no, the cities are in relations to the uh, relative size of the state are larger. Okay? The, I believe that the city, the city areas are staying the same in, in size, it's the surrounding terrain that's being shrunk down, okay? And I'll, uh, there, there just shows so much uh, when I do look at the uh, digital work and I do look at the uh, maps and I do look at modern media, I see the changes in the uh, uh, surface terrain, the subterranean, the subterranean shows uh, on the maps and so forth like that, and the digital map uh, of Google Earth and that kind of thing. The subaquatic activity uh, is extremely heavy off of Mexico. Uh, matter of fact, you can go from Mexico uh, directly on south all the way uh, west of French Polynesia to uh, out towards Chile. And that part of the South Pacific is tremendously active. Tremendously. There is a lot of work going on out there. I know then, of course, you have South America moving out. You have what's happening to 
the Amazon and the west coast of South America, which has been changed quite a bit because South America, for many of us uh, in the past who are quantum affected, Mandela affected, was many, many hundreds of miles further west. It is much, much closer to Africa now, and that's changed the uh, configuration of the state. Also, the Amazon has changed. There are visible changes to the Amazon coming in. There are civilizations coming into the Amazon that did not exist that are coming in there. Okay. Uh, there were two areas of Earth that were kind of um, in opposite extreme uh, differences in the spectrum on my old reality Earth, which were the Amazon which was very heavily laden with life, um, abundantly uh, overgrown, utterly overgrown, just a, an absolute uh, morass of a jungle, uh, the Amazon was. It was in a thick, huge basin uh, It was the, with a large uh, nor, uh, northern area of South America and uh, Venezuela and, and Colombia up there and Peru. Uh, the uh, Peruvian coast was shaped more out like a circle, it didn't have this kind of edged, uh, sawtooth edge to it that it has here now. And also the Galapagos Islands were much further out, okay? Think about that. How did that affect evolution with the Galapagos Ocean if, uh, uh, Islands in the uh, uh, Pacific Ocean are much closer to South America than they ever were before, okay? Now, you, uh, the, Am the Amazon was bigger, and it was in a big basin. And you had the Andes were very, very tall uh, and very rigid. Uh, I first noticed this and was confused by this when I was watching a television spot on that sad uh, incident with the French airliner crashing into the Atlantic Ocean, going leaving Brazil. OK, when I saw that, I was confused. I was in my what I believe was my uh, uh, disorientation period, a, a transition because when I looked out and I looked at this uh, story about the aircraft, I, I, I was befuddled. I was confused uh, when I was looking at the, um, the wreckage out into the Atlantic. There was something that was confusing me, and it was South America and its position. Okay. Now, we, we have everything going on now with the uh, closing of the Earth, of the sphere, which I still subscribe that the Earth is a sphere. I'm sorry, I'm not a flat earther. But I am someone who is open to the interpretation of studying the entire environment of Earth or our entire environment, period. We do not know what it is. We do not know what it is. And it's a kind of a well-kept secret, I think, uh, from us as what the totality of our exact circumstances are. Because um, you can see clear aspects in the movements that I watch. It, uh, it, uh, considering that there's a factor that this could be an illusion. That, that is uh, a given. There could be an illusionary factor in this. Uh, but it's what I have observed and what I've seen since uh, I transitioned or quantum jumped in June of 2016. Okay? Uh, off of uh, uh, China, uh, the Hainan Island grew, came into existence. I think uh, at the very earliest, it was like late 2016, primarily 2017 and 2018 to 2019. The last of the teens, uh, the Hainan Island grew into an enormous size, an island way over 100 miles in diameter, right, and with a, a population. If you were to present somebody who says, uh, I've got news for you. you, you say this place came into existence between 2016 and 2020, well, I was born there in 2050, I mean 1950. I was born there in 1950. How do you explain that? That is a given as to the realities, the pre-existing realities that we are dealing with. Uh, um, we possibly, uh, the wave of consciousness, the mind, whatever, I guess we're going into an area where we can exist or do exist, right? So when we go back and we look at the um, uh, areas that, that we're traversing, that we're going over, we're going back into the past. Perhaps. Certainly the Earth seems to be getting smaller and smaller in a, uh, an uneven uh, uh, give or take way. Uh, sometimes I can look at the Earth and very, very little has changed, hardly anything. And then uh, the next day I can look and I'll be astonished at the changes. Um, 
Turkey is a good example right now of dramatic, dramatic changes. And that place has come, like say uh, Turkey was in a certain position like that. It, it's gone and tilted going down like you would think if you were uh, on the surface of a balloon, say, a collapsing balloon, right? Going down and going in a certain direction and coming down. So uh, the area right now around Adana, northern Syria, going into, well, the whole of Turkey is active. The entire uh, country, plus the entire region around there. Greet, uh, Crete, uh, the island of Crete is, has amazing changes happening right now. But um, Adana shows signs of these changes that are coming into increments, just like the Amazon. The Amazon is showing new civilizations, new circumstances. For example, people who were never in there are going to be in there, right? A town that never was in there is going to be in there now, okay? And it's just like the Sahara. The Sahara is opening up. We have uh, from the deepening area of the, the declination of Lagos, Nigeria, which has become less and less green over time, going up into Chad and the Chad Rift forming up to Area 42, which is Giza, right? And the Suez Canal, the Red Sea, and the uh, uh, gravitational anomaly that's on uh, both the uh, east side of Africa and uh, 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 Saudi which is growing in, in, in a pronounced way and is having its effects as it goes into Afghanistan and Pakistan and all the stands in Central Asia. Every, every uh, Anything with a stand in it has got some changes coming. Uh, the Caspian Sea is, uh, is in declination, especially on the southern side, with the northern part of uh, uh, Iran becoming greener in that area for farming and irrigation and Georgia and stuff like that going over to the Black Sea. And, of course, this goes over into the Ukraine and southern Russia and the effects that are happening there because the Black Sea is in transformations, as is Turkey. I was stationed in the military on a base in northern uh, Turkey. Um, I'll, I'll refrain from saying what that was right now. It, uh, that place has physically moved many, many miles and matter of fact, all the terrain around it and everything like that has been reconfigured, especially uh, like the road to Samsung is different. I went one time to Samsung for dinner, a bad mistake because I was sick in my stomach. But I, I looked at the map and we had maps where I was uh, showing the, the, the Turkey. Thrace and uh, is different in, in relation to where Istanbul is and the Dardanelli Strait. That's all shifted over. Uh, we've had changes to Romania. Romania is coming out into the Black Sea further. Um, you also have changes that are going on all the way through the Mediterranean, everywhere. The Adriatic, uh, you have changes around the entire coastline of Italy. And this is important to keep in note for the future, is the Geneva Wave. The Geneva Wave, which it primarily is the uh, Swiss Alps, uh, and especially the main uh, heavy bulk in Liechtenstein, uh, that water, that moisture, that height, uh, it's already tilted Austria, which, say, Austria was, say, like a picture that was just like so, has moved over like this. See, let me demonstrate how my hand is. Let's say you had a picture like that, and that was Austria. I'm just using my hand. My hand's even changed from what it was when uh, before when I existed. It's gone over like this. It's tilted down. It's, we show evidence everywhere of coming down, of moving in closer. And this shows also to be a uniquely methodical, practical engineer, uh, engineered uh, uh, system. It, it, it is a well thought out system and it's happening now. Now, this is something for us all to look into and, and uh, uh, examine. Uh, I'm concerned for California. California has tremendous changes coming along with uh, the west coast of Mexico, northern Mexico, uh, Arizona, uh, south of Phoenix, and uh, uh, west and uh, southwest of Tucson. That area all in there is being filtered out and ready to become uh, water, Okay. And, and we've got Baja still forming and, and, and glowing, and it's cleaning up 
and it's going up. Please examine Gorman and Lebec. Okay, and then go into the California Valley from San Francisco, which is moving over because it's being pulled east and it's coming down into the declination. You have water areas coming into the valley, right into central California. I can understand why they're not doing anything to increase the population of California. Uh, things seem to go in transition in a smooth way, but we have that happening right now. We have California in transition. We have California changing along with the entire west coast of uh, North America, period. The top of Alaska, the top of Canada, um, the entire west coast, uh, the entire coast of Alaska, uh, British Columbia, that's going to be a big concern for the Pacific Northwest, American Pacific Northwest, because of that moisture that's up there with the um, Denali wave in Alaska and in the British Columbia, that's uh, the valley in uh, Washington state is in declination now, and the Cascade Mountains are rolling over slowly but surely. I lived up there, and the terrain is also different as well there now. We have Hawaii in transition. Uh, the tracks that are across the earth, the tracks that are moving, are in segments and in different certain places, and they're reacting to each other in their certain movements, okay? Again, the movements are uneven. They're somewhat unpredictable because I, I've been surprised. I thought the Florida Keys were going to go. They did the reverse. They grew. But I'm seeing that now. I'm seeing uh, Cuba being pushed up, the Bahamas being pushed up. Uh, we have the track. We have the Gulf of Mexico track. We have the Honduras track, and we have the Barbados track. The Barbados track out is leaving uh, northern uh, South America out uh, further towards Africa, Africa is in a tilt, and the East African Rift is in uh, reacting now to the changes that are coming out of the Central Islands, Saunders Island, off of Antarctica. Antarctica is pivoting and moving the engineering into the eastern part of Africa that's shooting right back up to the Valley of the Kings, up to the Nile, affecting the Sahara, the Chad Rift, to Nigeria, right over again into... Uh, uh, Afghanistan and Iran going into what used to be Mongolia, the far western desert for China. That used to be Mongolia, 1,200 miles northwest of what location that used to be the country of Mongolia for me. Now that is splitting the Eurasia continent. It's splitting it in half. A lot of activity is heading out towards Beijing. It's just like uh, Hainan Island. When Hainan Island got bigger, it got much bigger and bigger and bigger. We have some changes that are going to keep on happening to the Banda Sea. We have Indonesia in a counterclockwise rotation as those areas are being pulled up because the Marianas Trench is pulling out and forcing a lot of lift up into the southern uh, Pacific. That's going to affect out towards French Polynesia and again towards Chile. That the, Tremendous activity is in the southern Pacific. I don't know what's going on there. I can't understand all those subaquatic movements. Uh, it's engineering school 101. It is actually very, very busy. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, from the pizza parlor tonight, Texas Danny. Good night.